This is a demo of the Sodalite continuous integration setup using Jenkins and GitHub. We start in the GitHub repository of the Semantic Reasoner, one of the Sodalite components, to make an edit to one of the source files. We see here the Jenkins file, which describes the stages run by Jenkins to build the Semantic Reasoner component code. The first stage is to pull the code from the GitHub repository. Then the code is built using the Maven tool. There's a dependency between the Semantic Reasoner component and the Defect Prediction component. So when a change is made to the Semantic Reasoner code, we need to again also test the Defect Prediction code. So the Jenkins job triggers a build of the Defect Prediction component. When committing even a small change in this file or any other source file in the repository, the system detects that a change has been made and triggers a new build of the component. We make here a change by adding a line to the Jenkins file. We create a commit record and request to integrate our change into the master branch. We see now in the, Jen in the Jenkins dashboard that a build job has been created for the semantic reasoner component which follows the rules that we just saw in the Jenkins file. We see in the table the various stages that we defined, pull the repository code, build the code with Maven, and trigger a new build of the defect prediction component. Now let's look at the dashboard for the defect prediction component. We see that a Jenkins job was just kicked off to build the defect prediction component because of the trigger in the semantic reasoner component. We see the stages of this job, which include pull the code from the repository, build the semantic reasoner code, which was already done, so it need not be done again, then run some tests, and finally build the defect prediction library. While this is building, let's go back to the semantic reasoner build. For each build, Jenkins saves a log of all commands that were performed in order to accomplish the build. We click on the desired build to see the log messages. We see here the command to check out the code from the repository. Further down, we see the command to run the Maven tool to build the semantic reasoner libraries. Finally, we see the point where it triggers a build of the defect prediction component. Back on the, on the defect prediction dashboard, after the build is completed, we can see the results of the build, the artifacts. We click on the link and we can see the library that was created, Bug Predictor API War, which can now be exported for use by other components. This concludes the demo of the CI CD pipeline using Jenkins and GitHub.